I'm the Salty Redneck, and welcome back to another crossout video. Today I have for you uh, another PR test server to look at. So, uh, yeah. And there's a, a ton of new stuff at the moment. Uh, obviously, you guys have probably seen the patch notes. But, uh, I guess let's just go ahead and start with the battle pass. So, uh... Oh, good lord, there's a hundred and fifty, what the heck? Okay. That's a lot of levels. And I will not forget the crafting this time. I, I will we'll look at that in a second. Anyway, it looks like we get some profile and, like, banner and whatnot stuff. Get a crate with a special rarity part of your choice, it looks like. That is non-tradable, unfortunately. You, you'll get a crate, so that's cool. Some fenders. They're 38 durability each. Oh yeah, the strategic reserve thing where you... It's just a chance for resources. Uh, oh, this is 90 durability. Uh, let's see here. Uh, six long by two tall. Cool. Alright, and then there's this thing, which is 40 durability. Whatever the heck it is. Okay, it's two tall, and I'm guessing like four or five long. From that, anyway. Oh yeah, the uh, new engine. Which uh, has a really cool perk. I will get to it in a minute. More of those fenders. Uh, another banner thing. Military reserve for resources. Two of the new legs. Then you've got another special rarity thing of your choice. Uh, impact bumper, which is 119 durability. Uh, how big is it? Uh, six wide. Not bad for six wide bumper. Okay, got another two of those legs. This decor, yeah, it's cool light though. And a paint, uh. That is a lot of durability. Oh my. That is a very large piece. Cool. Let's see here. Oh, another two of those mounting bracket things. Here, another two of those parts. Humanitarian aid. We had this one before. Oh wow, cool. Obviously, we all know that the uranium is highly unlikely, but that's still cool. Let's see here. Oh yeah, the new melee. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at them. Uh, let's see here. What all we got? New cabin. More of these panel arch bits. So that's cool. Lots of high durability parts in this battle pass. I like that a lot. Ooh, the new the new weapon. Oh my goodness. Eleven energy instead of twelve energy like the kaiju and stuff. We'll see if it stays that way. But that is cool. Interesting. And it looks like it's lighters and strategic reserve as well as coins from then on out. Uh, looks like maybe they've gone in...
Oh wow. Lots of points. Oh, what's this? Oh, one epic rarity item of your choice. Okay, that's cool. Once again, it won't be tradable or whatever by the looks of it. Okay, cool. Actually, I have those crates in here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Uh, or just grab that and then quantum. Okay, hang on. Let's see here. Okay, just add it to the stack, so. It might be tradable after all, I don't know. Anyway. Let's see what we got for crafting. Okay, we got the, uh. New melee. We got the new legs. The Reaper. For durability damage spread. Mandrake for mass reloading time spread. Retro for durability damage projectile speed. Tsunami for mass reloading projectile speed. Aspect for durability damage spread growth. Hammerfall for durability damage range of fire. Cyclone for durability time to overheating spread. All these are, once again, lighters. And it looks like we get 1900 total from the looks of it. So, that would be... Because uh, I it unlocked the whole battle pass for me. So it looks like you get 1950. Well, 1955. So you could get three legendaries total, which is... See, that would mean... Okay, up to four of the cherry things because you get one from the battle pass so uh, let's see here harpy for mass and mass limit humpback for mass and mass limit photon for mass and power quasar for durability projectile speed and reloading incinerator for durability reloading time projectile speed which I don't recommend that fusion because the projectile speed makes it so you can't shoot as close to yourself, which is the problem you have with incinerators. That's why people tilt their builds. So they can shoot closer to themselves. Anyway. Uh, Fat Man for mass reloading time projectile speed. Whirlwind for durability damage spread growth. Equalizer for durability damage spread. Pilgrim for mass and power. Jawbreaker for mass and mass limit. Sinus for durability damage spread. Synthesis for durability projectile charge time projectile speed. Uh, storm for durability damage spread. The see the new weapon takes flywheel tormentor and the new legs to craft. Well, the new uh, railgun looking thing. <clears throat> see. The new melee takes two legs, two averters, and two fidgets to craft. New cabin takes two legs, two bootstraps, and one quantum to craft. New engine takes two legs, two threshers, and one hot rod to craft. Uh, or hot red, I mean. Uh... New leg takes one scimitar, one pyro lead, and one piercer. So a new leg's price for crafting isn't too terrible. Uh, yeah, that is the crafting tab. Uh, let's see. Oh, cool. That did a little graphic thing there when I did that. Okay, At, it shows the PS being added in the white. Cool. So that's a neat little change. Okay, so we want relic. We want the new relic. Uh, there it is. 
the Helicon. Actually, let's put a... Oh, okay. This is new. Okay. Interesting. That's... Huh. Cool. Anyway. Ah, uh, crap. I have Discord pings on. Hang on a second. Uh, where is it? Hang on. I'm a professional, I swear. There we go. Okay. No more of that. Let's see here. We want... Let's just grab... Uh, wait, that won't be enough mass thing. Where is... Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Let's put that there. As long as we don't get close, it won't affect our damage. Oh yeah, I need to remove the code driver. So let's just see... Plain damage. Nothing... There's two damage numbers on the damage meter. What? Okay. Okay, that's interesting. So. Okay. Interesting. Okay, and it does the standard relic thing these days, it seems like, of heating stuff. Kind of disappointing because it's you know, just the standard relic thing to do. What happened to Mastodon's being special? They do seem pretty fun, though. Let's see here. Let's get the uh, step spider cabin on it. Because uh, then we can test out the step spiders perk work with it. I think it does. But hard to tell. Seems to at least somewhat work with it. Anyway, these have 384 durability. Interesting. Also, I hope this is not the case, but they it shows it as limited time crafting, so yeah. It says it takes less uranium than usual, 300, instead of the 600 of a regular relic, like a Jormungandr or something. However, it does take four legendaries instead of two, and it specifically takes two beholders and two omamoris, of all things. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of rough. Because both of those work exclusive to battle passes. So, yeah, but that, that's not... That's not good. I don't like that one bit. Anyway, let's see here. Let's find a new melee weapon. All right. It looks to be about the same size as a regular buzzsaw. Just about. Oh cool, the hitbox is shown there. That's neat. Anyway.
Uh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's a regular buzz. Okay, so it sticks out further than a regular buzz saw. It has a bigger hitbox as well as two weld points right there, which is very interesting. And of course, it's three energy instead of two energy. Let's just uh, slap that right there. We can slap one more up there. Grab a couple wheels. Those are not steering. <laughs> uh, anyway. Let's see what their base damage is like. For four of them. I didn't even look at their perk. I need to look at that. Okay, not terrible. Oh my goodness. Well, that's fairly good, I feel like. There we go, got all four of them on there. Yeah, that's, that's not bad damage. And of course, it'll certainly be more if you add a Tormentor and whatnot. Probably just buzz right through people then. Let's see here. Now let's find the new weapon. Which is 11 energy. Okay. Interesting. Okay, got some sort of charge up there. Oh, I bet I know why that's got two different uh, numbers. I bet one's the blast damage and one's bullet damage. Okay, that's neat. This would definitely be doing bullet damage. What in the world? Okay. What? That's interesting. Let's look at the perk, because I forgot to look at that. Let's see here. Seven charges firing with the charge instantly fires a volley from all barrels. The charges accumulate when there is an armored vehicle wreck within 30 meters from the vehicle. The more wrecks there are nearby, the faster the charges accumulate. Interesting, so you have to be near destroyed people. Yeah, that'll be neat. Whether or not it'll be overpowered or not, we'll see. 
Uh, let's see here. Let's see the new engine. The, it was 3,700 mass limit compared to a Colossus is 2,500. So this is going to be very, very cool for heavy builds. And it's re used for power and reduced weight. Which does kind of make me nervous, because that means that's like the perfect hover fusion. But also, uh... <coughs> uh this engine is pretty heavy, but yeah, I, I worry about hovers using it. Oh, that is... That is good acceleration. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab uh Let's grab a uh, something with crappy power. Photon. We all know Photon has bad power for hovers. And so all hovers generally fuse it for power, but Let's see here. Let's just grab... A bunch of hovers here. Also, the uh, blue hovers have been nerfed slightly from 95 to 90. Forgot to mention that. So we'll do... Uh, we'll do six hovers, then uh, let's put some weight on here. Uh, let's see here. Dang it, why did I take the new weapon off? It's pretty heavy. Okay. And let's just... Throw some heavy armor on here. Here we go. Oh, I just realized, uh... Huh. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's how you see the... Okay, I was worried about where you see your uh, tonnage and whatnot still. Seems like an okay UI change. It's going to take some getting used to. Okay. That's a fairly heavy hover, I feel like. This does not feel terror. Okay, it does feel somewhat bad, but. Uh. Interesting. I do worry that it's going to be good on hovers. But, uh. Time will tell, I guess. Also, apologies ahead of time if I'm if my voice is sounding funny. My allergies are acting up like crazy. But uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see here. Gotta try out the new legs. Cause uh, we all love ourselves some mech legs. Okay. Ooh, I like this. This is cool. Just very skittery. Feels like a little bug just skittering.
They had someone in the back. Why not? I can't type. Okay, that's weird. Okay, anyway. Okay, so that's just how far apart you can put them. Also, they uh, have 400 and... <coughs> Excuse me. They have 450 durability, so... Somewhat... Uh, fragile, but... I think they're going to be pretty cool. I mean, look at this. Just skittering around. I, I look forward to this. Also, I should mention, there is no reload module on this for uh, the new weapon, so... It reloads pretty darn fast. Also, I forgot to look at the, in the engine's perk. Okay, so it's the percentage of power reduction displayed on the little engine symbol when you test drive. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, looks like a pretty neat battle pass. I am disappointed that that relic looks to be limited time crafting. <sighs> but, uh, cool that we're getting more legs, and they're speedy legs that feel like little, little skittery things. So, uh, the, the ML200s are your tarantula, I guess, and these are your little skittery wolf spiders. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, there's a bunch of patch notes about, like, the armor changes and stuff, uh, and weapon changes, like, all the MGs got a durability buff, and, like, some stuff was made to have penetration and whatnot, uh, so, yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna go over that because it's way too much to go over right now, but I will let someone else go over all those armor changes because uh, that is not my forte to go into a bunch of technical testing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you know the usual spiel. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the new Battle Pass, etc., etc. And yeah... I will see you all in the next video. Salty out.